So let's talk tech this morning because Julia Hardy's here once again. And I often find Julia, I'm heading home and I think, I don't know if I've got any milk in or not. Yes. How do I find out without, you know, the, can't disappoint the cat? Well, you know, you could just get some milk just in case. But uh, yeah, we're talking about uh, smart home technology here, uh, specifically LG's Home Chat, which is a natural way to converse with your appliances. Should Excellent. you want to text them or ask them questions? So I can ask my fridge a question. <laughs> you can, I don't know how existential it could get. I think it's just limited to. Oh, that's disappointing. It's a, I know. What's the meaning of life? Why am I here? Why do I cry when I'm alone? That kind of thing. You can't really ask <laughs> it. That. But um, so basically, what, what it is is, um, it's a smart fridge. It has, uh, it's one of the first fridges in the world to have a camera, so what it will do is every time you open and shut the door, it will take a picture of the contents of your fridge to see what's there and what's not, and right. it can sh and text you that picture. The other thing is it has like a, an input system on the front, so when you do your shopping, you could input and say what's going in there, although to be honest with you, That's gonna take I'm a not going to do that. No. What you actually really need in the future is more kind of grocery stores having, you know, like their products with RFID chips and stuff like that, so you just put them in the fridge. And it knows. And it even just a scanner would at least even a scan of yes it. that's true actually yeah, yeah. even a scan i'm not going to input that. that stuff let's be honest you get back from the no, shopping you're like no. it's so it's a, it's a first step but not what we need um it's, it's very very good but it's they're doing so many more kind of connected devices so there's like washing machines so you can say hey washing machine how's it going and uh, it'll be like oh we'll, i'll be finished in 30 minutes uh, or you could set it to time it so when you know you come back home it's all ready so it's not all creasy that kind of thing um yeah there's, there's lots of different ways but i think the most important thing to take away from this is the fact that it's about natural conversations with tech so instead of using the right language you should just be able to be like hey washing machine so it's intuitive yes yeah, so a little bit like Siri so so using that kind of natural you, language program. you could have a tea making machine for instance yes because that, that makes me think of the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy when the machine oh, yeah. just really annoyed everyone by yeah. saying I made this tea for you and it was never quite right yeah, yeah yeah no absolutely I mean there's there's so many ways I mean smart home stuff obviously there's things like lighting and door locks and all of this kind of thing but yeah. you know these kind of smart appliances um, are really really the way forward what What's quite interesting though is there's a thing called the uh, All Seen Alliance which is you know the biggest problem with technology is you've got all these different companies making different bits of tech and they never work together mm. yeah. you know like if you want to switch over and you're like for goodness sake guys like come on you're just making everybody's lives annoying um, so what they've actually done with a lot of these domestic products is there's this thing called the All Seen Alliance which I think has like 53 members so like Sony Electrolux and what they're going to start using is the same language yeah. so that effectively you could have like an LG fridge but have a D Electrolux maybe Hoover or whatever and, and they should all be able tagged to in together. I mean that's what you want that's why people like the Apple system because everything just works right you don't want it to a talking clash. hoover as well Talking Hoovers, yes. I mean, there's lots of uh, iRobot. Well, obviously, um, Dyson have announced his new 360i, which is meant to be the most powerful, uh, you know, robot Hoover on the market. Which it's about 750 quid though, so it's not a cheap bit of kit. But it's supposed to be the most powerful. Um, it's about really kind of pushing this kind of techy mm. auto uh, stuff, you know, away from the geeks and into the kind of more uh, mainstream environment. Um, it looks pretty good, and I'm sure if it's Dyson, it'll probably work pretty well there's there's a lot of other companies that make these too though but, but with, with, within all of this and because we're almost out of time as per usual um, we've got I mean there's things like the Whirlpool interactive kitchen where it's an entire workshop yes. that sort of does everything for you yeah but how important is this in tying this technology up to the next level and it's not about what it does now it's what it could be doing in 10 years isn't it well I think it's just going to become more and more that you will never be disconnected at least now you can kind of put down your phone put down your you know tablet or whatever and kind of have a few moments to yourself I think this particular thing this is a prototype this won't be ready for quite a long time no. but it's, it's, it's actually mainly just more about social media and playing like Spotify and stuff and I was like if I was cooking actually I just kind of want to cook I don't want to know what someone's saying about something on Twitter in fact I'd be glad of the reprieve of not doing that the other thing is uh, did you see the movie her no. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes. Okay. Saw the movie. Yeah, so this kind of natural linguist, this natural uh, language programming that they're using, that kind of Siri kind of uses as well. Maybe it's that one step away from, uh, you know, maybe, maybe having your thing. Having, movie, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> having a date with your Hoover. Well. <laughs> Why am I so lonely, Hoover? Why does no one love me? I can't answer that for you. Well, I think it, it, it sort of works. I think that Juliet, thank you as always.